great. Yeah. <laughs> Point McGinnis on the serve, by the way, for Bishop McGinnis right now is Haley Steele. It's a very nice pass. Quick attack in the middle. Beautiful. Well executed. With the hands. Colorogi had a chance for McGinnis, couldn't get it done, so we're even here early on. Union will take the serve. Serving for a union is Brittany Swimmer. That's right, and their setter's coming from the back row. See that back set. Nice, right into the hole in the middle. Union couldn't cover that, it was a tough one. Not set up for that. Tough sort one of a, Yeah, it wasn't an easy pass to handle Yeah, it either. was sort of an off-speed shot, so they weren't sure where to set up the defense. Of course, rally score here in the first few games. Pass, nice pass, We're going back. Ooh, nice. Again, nice Set. play. Just free ball over. Outside attack for Union. Nice. Wow. Kim Eichen. Wow. <laughs> that was a nice hit. The junior averaging three kills a game gets one there, and she came from the outside. Well set up, too. Very, very powerful, yes. Eichen will step back and she'll serve here. A nice dig, too, in the back. Oh, oh. tough. Way to try to it, make, yeah. Haley Steele unable to handle it. Point for Union. Yes, I'm kind of impressed, April, looking around. They have a nice crowd that's making a lot of noise here from both sides. I've heard it louder. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? By this evening, it could be real yeah, crazy. Yeah, probably. Ugh. Yeah, that's a definitely carried ball. Didn't come off the hands very clean there at all. Tough one for Kelly Roy to handle. I guess that's a credit to the serve, too. Yes, definitely. Great. Lots of power on that. They're dropping, too. They look like they're going out, and then they're dropping, so... Nice pass. Let's see. Outside attack again. Tip, tip, tip. Union back the other way Just now. Good job. Great dig. Very good up. Let's see what they'll run. Middle. Yes. Nice. Very successful with their middle. Deidre Dunn with the kill for Union. So Union off to an early start here. Five to two. Let's watch that one again, April. What'd you like about that? <laughs> She got there. She got both <laughs> hands on it. That was awesome. She sacrificed her body. Awesome. Somehow made it For the play. team. For the team. That was Jennifer Everything. Morgan. Oh, nice block. Great block by you. Middle attack. Oh, nice. Middle attack. 31. That's a real. They're running some really um, intricate plays here. They're fast and they're hitting them right on. She's getting the sweet spot of the ball every time. So that's Deidre Dunn. Yes. With another kill here already. I think she's already at her season average <laughs> here early mm -hmm. on. Five per game. Now they one of the balls from the ball girls. It's always a little bit embarrassing whenever they're waiting for it and the ball girl standing there holding the ball. That's <laughs> Kim Eitens particulars as she gets it off. Lefty. Yeah, it almost Left seems like, I, and I, I don't know if that All was right, on purpose. Well. Just seems like McGinnis may be a little bit off sync here early on, and Union kind of on the attack. So early in the game, they have to get their groove in. It's also, I mean, in the beginning, there's adrenaline pumping like crazy. So for both sides, need time to settle down a little bit. Yeah, and for both sides, you want to try to establish something early. Good yes. serve. There's nice pass too. Another. That's a nice cut. Nice cut by her. She went across her body into the one position. Very effective. Deidre Dunn again. Boy, she's feeling it here early on for Union, up seven to three in our first match of the day. This is game one. And Dunn will step back and serve. There's a pass. Outside attack. Ten. Ooh, good block by Union. There's a touch. Going out, going out. Nice. Nice dig in the back, too, yeah. for Bishop McGinnis by Dennehy. Free ball. Inside attack. Ooh, that was a good Just in. Oh. Nice shot. Good placement. Well, I thought from our vantage point that, that maybe for uh, Courtney Whitlow is going to be a little bit wide, but watch Lowe's. this again. Well, but here we go. And that's oh. nice. Not the hardest shot, but definitely very effective. I think one thing we'll learn throughout the day, too, April, is it's not necessarily about power. It's about placement. No, that's so true in every game. Oh. Nice. Outside Powerful attack. hit. Couldn't Paul. quite take it. Paula Rogi with the outside attack for Bishop McGinnis. And now the Irish trying to get something going here. Early on in game one of our first match here on Cox. Leslie Jones serving for McGinnis. And there's a nice crisp hit. Another one on the outside. Good block by Union. Block, but couldn't quite make it up. It almost looked like she had a hand on that. Rogi again with another kill for Bishop McGinnis. Let's take a look at it, April. 
Very nice, effective. Not a bad setup either mm -hmm. on the block by Union because they had the players there, just too yes, much from Rogi. Didn't quite get their hands over the, over the net though. Outside attack for Union, Havlik. Good dig on the other side. Here's Rogi again. Tip tip. In the middle. Oh. oh. Effective, they were there. As Whoa, that was the setters. <laughs> Here we go. It's not often you see two uh, setters go for the kill, but right there, I believe it was Kelly Roy that ended up actually getting it. And then you get a good look at her, and it's a point for McGinnis, and they've rallied now all of a sudden. We have a game again, eight to six, serving yes. for McGinnis is Leslie Jones again. And there again, like you said, placement, very much everything. Nice dig nice on the back side, yes. Very outside good attack. pass. Oh, just a, a tight set. Back row attack, and it's out. Too much from oh, Deidre Dunn. She needs to be working closer to the net. That's where she's had her success. Yeah, she kept the ball a little far above her head on that. She didn't bring it as much in front of her shoulder as she should have. Jones now, third straight point. She'll serve for McGinnis. Outside attack again for Union. And Good dig, nice. Good dig not enough from Kelly Roy. Side out for uh, Union, 9-7 now. The score here early on in game one. Union's going to go to the bench. They're going to check in Melody Vanette. Uh, 5'11 senior, she averages about a block a game. You can tell she's got good size checking into the middle, too. Yep, definitely. Serving for Union on that last play, by the way, was a uh, nice Tess block. Mosebach. Nice block, single block. Over hit, over bump. Too. A lot of action around the net here in early in game one. Nice, wow. clean it up. There you go. Let's see what they do with it. Rogi again. Just ooh, nice shots down the line, right over the defender. That was kind of a fun volley. Let's check that one out again. Rogi again from See? the outside. He was down the line. The middle blocker didn't quite get up for that. So went right over him. Rogi allegedly only averaged three kills a game, but she's looking good here. There's a nice hit. Union from again. the outside again. That was Just a little too far. No, they're going to stay And there was tough. a touch on that. OK. Audrey Havlick looked to have the angle, but they're going to say that it was, or looked to hit it long, excuse me, but they're going to say that it, it hit him. touched by the blocker. Barely hit him mm -hmm. against player. So serve for Union. And Havlick will step back. 5'11 senior. She works from the outside. It's a good serve. It's an open bump and couldn't quite get it over. No, nice Very job. good serve. Nice job by Courtney Whitlow, stuffing it at the net. 11-8, Union here early uh -huh. on. They're serving aggressive, serving deep. Union is definitely serving deep, and that is very effective. It's hard to judge passing the ball to the net. Like that, right there. Deep serve. Not sure whether it's in or out. Instant points. Timeout on the court. Union looking pretty good here early on. Up 12-8 in game one of the first match. Board, game of the week. Championship Saturday on Cox Communications. Getting set for oh, what's been a crazy day and a good start for Union. April liked to serve. <laughs> oh, oh nice. just hit the floor. Oh. Outside Kelly Roy with the attack for Bishop McGinnis. Early on, what have you noticed? Union kind of taking the attack to them, aren't they? Uh huh. They are. They're hitting hard. They're swinging aggressively. Whereas McGinnis, I think, is a little on the hesitant side right now. But they are. They're making points. So Jennifer Morgan on the serve for McGinnis. Nice outside attack for Union by Iden. Again, boy, McGinnis is it's a nice hit. going to the outside a lot, as is Union inside here. Inside set. Yeah, the set was a little inside. She couldn't do much to save it. That's a tough. Kim Iden, let's watch it again. Kind of a tough pass to handle. Yeah, it is. It's very inside. Unless you're really under the ball and you're jumping really high, it's a hard hit. Or if you've got size like April Psycho, then it's OK. <laughs> yeah. She is pretty tall. <laughs> pretty tall. <laughs> oh, that's going to be too much. A little out. Kelly Roy, the junior. And that one again, she contacted a little far above her head and didn't snap when she followed through, so the ball went long instead of into the, net, into the court. 13 to 10, Union on top of McGinnis. Union has the serve. Stepping back to serve it is Katie Troutman. Nice dig from McGinnis, and they'll try to set up the outside that's attack a tough, again. That's a tough set to make. From all the way in backcourt, that's really tough for the setter to get there to square up and then to put two hands equally evenly on the ball. So they see, you saw the spin come off it. Especially with the, ball. with the tough pass, as you mentioned, yeah. too. Yeah, but Union's serving really hard. 
Puts an off-speed shot. Middle attack again for Union. That was done. See what McGinnis does to counter. Can't get anything accomplished, so Union will go again, again in the middle. middle. Done. Oh, that's out. And it's out. But they've been running it pretty effectively so far. Yeah, and watch Dunn again. You can tell she's really getting up on her shots, but mm -hmm. this one just barely. Her shoulder, just her body just over-rotated a little bit. It's just out. Ooh. Ball handling air and on. Yes, Union. that was carried from way behind her head. <laughs> that's so that's when you can't get away with shots. it. Those are shots. Yeah, you got to just put a fist up or something, just pop it over if that's the case. Done again. The nice steal by a dig by Steele. In the middle, carried ball. Good job by Union. Kind of a, an interesting feel here to this first game because when it seems like one team's grabbing a little bit of momentum, the other team has an answer. Yes. <laughs> Substitution for Union. Brittany Swimmer will check in to so serve. Is volleyball. So is volleyball. <laughs> I think we'll learn throughout the day. Yeah. Oh, set up well by McGinnis. And it's in. That one stuck over the net. Kelly Roy with the kill. Also there on it was Haley Steele. Watch it again. Actually, excuse me, it was Roy from the outside, number five with the kill, and a good set by Steele to give it a great pass right by the net. Oh, oh that was a good serve. That's got to be a horrible feeling it, when you're right in between what yeah, you should do. Yeah, not sure. She could have used her teammates maybe a little more vocally, yelling in or out on that play. So Roy will serve again. 15-14. There's a good pass. Tough one there. Popped over. Dunn couldn't do anything with it. Oh. Dump. That was really nice looking. Dunn Got again. It up, it's down. Again, is not able to get a true attack there. There's an outside attack and from there's Union. A, there's a nice set. And they're on the net. Good little turn. There's a nice swing outside. She's very aggressive in her swing. You know, she goes up strong. She's not scared about anything, that's for sure. She just goes up strong every time. And that's Kim Ike serving again for Union. Now up 16-14 here in our first game. Outside attack from Nine. McGinnis. And Ow. Union's on the net. Oh, OK. I was about to say, the official on the corner actually called it out, but the person on the net said, no. Yes, all the over it. Up official always has the overriding authority. Megan Dennehy checks in to serve for Bishop McGinnis, who, as we mentioned, took care of Edmund Memorial and Putnam City to get here. It's an outside. Nice and shot. it's in the middle. That's a really tough place to defend. It's part of the hole. The senior, Audrey Havlick, gets the kill there, averaging four per game. So now Union will go to its bench again. They're going to check in Courtney Whitlow. Serving will be Deidre Dunn, the middle blocker, who averages five kills per match, uh, five just kills out. per game. I don't think the coach is going to like that one too much. Serves just out. Both well, teams rotating a lot here early on. I guess that's one of the benefits of having some depth. And McGinnis will have Leslie Jones serve, the senior. And it's just miss hit in the middle. Timing for those quick ones are really tough, really yeah. tough to master. You have to have so many reps with your setter to get them down every time. So. Courtney Whitlow unable to do anything with that. We're even at 17. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a it was a, from behind her head. It was a good idea, though. It was, it was. Because they know that there's a hole on McGinnis' side. And there you see Deidre Dunn. She's been pretty solid so far here early on for a union. Now the Redskins need a rally. Nice shot from the outside. And it's in. Audrey Havlick. It's in. Sometimes it's... Okay. So what you think about that? Uh, we'll try to look at that again because Havlick with a solid shot from the near side. What impressed you about that? Sometimes those ones that go off the net are the hardest to return. <laughs> it was just, this is just a, it was a good shot. As you said earlier, I think I kind of like it. That's volleyball. <laughs> yeah, totally. It is. Not much that Union can do there. Whoa. And it's just out. There's a, unless there's a touch. No, and no it's called touch. out. Follow Rogi. Number 17 is swinging aggressively. She definitely is. She yeah. has to follow through a bit more on her on her hit. That's Rogi, the senior that April's referring to. There's oh. just, just out as well. Victoria George, the junior. Wow. McGinnis may be a little bit too amped up here early on. They trail 20 to 18. We'll take a timeout and see if Union can hold on and take the first game of our first match here on Cox Communications. It's the fourth game of the week on Championship Saturday. April, you were Hard missing. to pass. 
off that. Yeah, it is. And Kim Eiten doing the job for uh, Union on that. But you were uh, you were pointing out how this match still has a little bit of a staccato feel to it. There really hasn't been much rhythm. Yeah, there's a lot of free balls being sent over, some scrappiness. It's not very clean at times. There's a lot of um, balls hitting the net and going into the court after that or just a lot of out. So they still need to find a groove here. They need to crisp it up a little bit. That was Paula Rogi, and I apologize. It was actually Tess Nordstrom that was on the uh, last ace serve. And that one is going to be close. That was an effective Touch. free ball placement right there. Good job. Nice thought by Kelly Roy. Watch it again how yeah. smart this is. Overhand to that one position. The, the defender is set up for a hit. Hard to, hard to bring up. All right, when you get all your momentum going one way like that to readjust and go the other way. Good solid attack by Havlick. Outside attack for Vista Nice, Gilbert. nice. Look out. Kelly Roy like gets Union, the kill. Union was later. Yeah, she went up aggressive, and Union was a little late on that block. And there was a hole. Rogue got through with authority. That was a nice hit. Rogue the serve. Quick attack in the middle. It's good. Maybe. Nice. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Courtney Whitlow. Hey, Bishop McGinnis is scrappy. I yes, mean, they are. When They're we not going to roll over, that's for sure. When we went to the break, we were kind of talking about how we were, we were thinking Union had it in the bag, but yeah, McGinnis. They're, uh, staying with it. McGinnis coming back solid. Until then. And a tough serve. That's where McGinnis really needs to um, pick it up a little bit is on the server seat because their setter is just flying all over the court trying to get some her hands on that ball. The sure. Union serving tough. Bob Steele wants a timeout. And we'll take a timeout with him. By the way, upgrade today to Cox Digital Cable with Showtime and the Movie Channel. You get full standard service Cox Digital Cable plus 45 music choice channels and 32 channels of pay-per-view with a $50 Toys R Us gift card available through Showtime. All this for just $44.95 per month for the first three months. Call today for this great offer in the Tulsa area, 665-0200, and in the Oklahoma City area, 600-8282. Hey, we were talking about the face paint. You know, I was walking in April, uh, and, and they were spraying down, the McGinnis fans were spraying down their hair with the green spray paint. I, I think I almost got like, I, I might have got woozy off How of it because, feeling? yeah, I'm, I think I'm just You're now okay? starting to come back to earth a little bit. We'll drink some more water. I will. I'll try right. to do what I can. <laughs> off oh. the serve, Kim, uh, Audrey Havlick. And oh, okay. That'll do it that for Union. That is it for the game. I forget that it goes to 25 and not to 30 because the college <laughs> level, it's all, always 30. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> April Psycho's here. We'll get her analysis on game one as we are through the first game of match one. Union takes it 25 to 20. You're watching the 5A State Volleyball Championships. The fourth game of the week on Cox Communications. At Fordham Tulsa, we're kicking off the 04 model year right. The right boards at the right price, right? Let's look at how Union picked up the 25-21 April Psycho. They, they were quick, weren't they? Yes, they were. They ran a lot of stuff from the middle, and they had a lot of quick plays going at McGinnis, and I think it kind of shook up their defense a little bit. They didn't know quite where to defend. Um, Union also serving really tough uh, and just hitting the lights out. They were just aggressive, and everything they did was just aggressive, and that is Definitely, I mean, they made some errors, but they were aggressive errors, and they found, you know, they found their groove. Exactly. Hey, well put. I mean, there's no, I mean, you, you found a point in this game where it seemed like Union was just running away with the game. Uh, McGinnis showed a lot of scrappiness, yeah. but you're right. Uh, Union was doing things so quickly, and they were moving so well, McGinnis at times struggled to find an answer for it. McGinnis tried, kept on gaining momentum at the end of the game, and so I think they're going to care.
carry that into this game. So Union Cannon can't go into Laxadaisical or else. Well, because McGinnis is really picking it up in the end there. Hitting hard, hitting aggressively as well. So a spot in the semifinals awaits the winner. Or excuse me, a spot in the finals awaits the winner tonight at five o'clock. See what happens in the bottom part of the bracket later on. Union will start nice to game two. Nice pass to start. And there was a touch on that. A strong attack again from the outside. Right block. Blocked by Union. They got their hands right over the net. Then it Locked was it right down. Then it was one of them in there to make the play and nowhere for Kelly Roy to go. Union will serve and they'll sit back Katie Troutman. Can sense where the momentum is in this game already. Yes. It's the first point. Hard to talk. Yeah. And the second one. I, and Rogi is, is arguing for a tip. But apparently didn't happen adamantly, might I add. She's a little shocked. She'll try to rally the troops. Two zip here early on for Union. Troutman will serve again. Nice dip. Nice pass. It's a great pass. Good attempt. Boy, Union. Oh, sure. that's a great hit. They're late on the block. And they save it, and no. No. Good nice job hustle. For Union, yes. Nice hustle from Jennifer Morgan from McGinnis, but Union. Yes, and they definitely have the emotional momentum, too. They've got a lot of fan support. They're really loud on the bench. Yeah, i got to give McGinnis fan support, too. They've traveled yes. where? well here today. They unfortunately they have haven't had much to cheer about yet this green game. spray paint in their hair. <laughs> they need to cheer. And I'm still woozy from. Right in the middle, in done. In the middle. Again, the quick play from the middle. And tough to know where to set up the defense for that. Maybe if you're Bob Steele, do you think about an early timeout here, April? <laughs> still, it's still points. Yes, very definitely early. Definitely thinking about it. Definitely thinking about it. Not to go into like a Dick Vitale. He needs a TO yet, right? <laughs> He's still okay. And that's a tight set. Good spot. They oh, well done. Don the block back and, and a good job. By, yeah, good job by uh, Stephanie Real to be right there. Good, good. What McGinnis needs is some smiling out there. <laughs> yeah, you, they, they seem down, they, they seem do, frustrated. They do, and you can tell by their faces, and it's, you know, your emotions totally reflect on the court. And they... The senior, Haley Steele. Set. That again, oh, block down. And four hits, not quite over the net. She's hitting very, uh, number 12, hitting down. Yeah, Vanetta, you remiss the melody. And she humility. definitely has a good, jo uh, good jump for that. Just needs to get a few in the court and then start hitting down. Steele again with a nice serve inside done. It's Ooh, placement. Good up, good up. You know, try over. to set it up inside again. No outside. It's a tight, tight set. Not and gonna make nope. it. Four hits. So much for that timeout, wow, eh? Wow, isn't that amazing? 4-3. <laughs> Rally scoring, the game can change so quickly. The Guinness fans start to come alive and again. Now they'll nice. really be alive. Yes. Yep. Didn't quite get a firm platform on that pass, so it went off of one of her, one of the wrists and just shanked into the crowd. Haley Steele served again for McGinnis. It's a good serve. She's got a new game good here. pass. Heighten. Ooh. And there was a touch on that. It was a bit of a missed hit, but it seemed to just tip their fingers, McGinnis. Right, and that's her first kill in this game. She came off a uh, 500, uh, actually four kills in the first game. Very impressive here for Aiden early on in this match. Actually, it shouldn't say early on anymore. We're through game one. Yes. It I love the rally score, don't you? 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, it makes the game so much quicker. <laughs> and yes, it's amazing. It's every time the ball hits, it counts. Double, Double hit. A little bit of a mistake inside for Tess Nordstock. So, didn't service. Come, didn't quite come off her fingers as, as uh, evenly as she, wa she Kelly, wanted it to. Kelly Roy with the serve. Outside attack, Aiton again. Nice hit. Dig. Good dig. Very good dig. Left-handed left outside attack. Yes, that's very effective. Kind of feverish. Aiden outside. Oh, though. wow. <laughs> they all wanted it. All three of them at that net. Those two blockers, they <laughs> wanted to block that. She wanted to hit it. The blockers just won out this time. Jennifer Schweitzer. Yes. The senior. Great job there. And McGinnis comes back to life. 
And Union seems nice. to be the team struggling yeah, now. Yeah, change momentum. It's amazing how that happens. 8-5, McGinnis on top of Union. Union yeah. took game one of this match 25-20 to on a great performance from Audrey Havlick, hitting 500 in that game. Now we'll see if she can match it here this time. Dunn, though, is back in the middle. Great block. There's Schweitzer. That's a nice one. I'm going outside. Eiden. Nice, nice dig. It's a good hit, good dig. Nice hit, nicer dig. In tip, tips. Oh, great up, great up. Is it over? Yes. Oh, wow. Union will try to get. Oh, another Again. one of those tricky little dumps. <laughs> We're playing. Clean it up. They need to clean it up a little bit here. Now. Try to set something up. Eight from the outside. Oh, great hit. Just dug up again. Rogi. Nice. Into the six spots. The most emotion we've seen from the McGinnis bench this game. What a huge point. 9-5. Yes. Right over the shorter blocker on the outside into that sixth position. Paula Rogi getting McGinnis back in this game. Union. Oh, back couple row. People. Two players going at it, including Havlick. Schweitzer, great That's dig. That's a great dig, yes. Free ball over. Nice pass to the net. Rogi. Going out. Oh. Beautiful hit, beautiful. Too much for Havlick to handle. Good attempt by Havlick on the dig, but man, Rogi's really hitting it well. Very nice. Going up strong down the line. McGinnis will have Kelly Roy serve. Great angle there. It's going outside. It's tough at blocks. The set was a little tight on that. Number two couldn't quite get there. And Schweitzer again on the outside with the block, and it was tough for Wright to try to get there and make the play for Union. He is getting up. That's a good jump she's got. Done. Too much. This has been an amazing turn of events as yes. far as momentum is concerned. We're doing timeout here. I'm sure Union actually wants it. 12 to 5, McGinnis has rallied from a four zip hole. And after losing game one, they're very much alive in game two. This is the board game of the week on Cox Communications. Chris Plank, joined by April Psycho, here giving us her analysis, the former ORU Golden Eagle. Can I say star? Stars. Okay, there you go. All stars. We had a great <laughs> team. And uh, Union here early on trying to get something going for some momentum. How about there? It's done. Off going the back to the quick middle again. Rogi. Boy, she's nice. Yes, yeah, she's been hitting down the line. That went off the net, but it still is very effective. Point for McGinnis. What a turn of events here in this second game. Amazing how momentum can switch like that. Eiden. She nice gets dig. up, hits the ball. Nice dig. Rogi. Whoa. One hand over. Somehow Swimmer got Free that ball. one. Free ball. Eiden again. Oh. Ooh, yeah, that's a tough set. It was going in a little tight. Schweitzer was there, as was. Uh, as usual, Schweitzer was there. Haley gets a, Steele. Gets a big block up. This is kind of impressive. Schweitzer's really stepped it up here in the second game. Yes. She's pretty much MIA. In fact, so much so, Union wants to use a timeout, as it appears like head coach Chad McKee wants to have a chance to talk to some of his girls. And we were talking about how momentum can be so fleeting here in, in this match. We'll, we'll get to that in just a bit because I want to get some of your opinions on how tough it is in a high school to maintain that momentum, especially with a rally score. Hey, don't forget, next Thursday night, you want to be tuned in with Cox. It's Claremore versus Katusa in our Ford game of the week. It's all coming your way beginning at 7 p.m. with high school primetime. You ought to come by our high school primetime set, April. Really? Have you been to a high school football game yet? No, I haven't. Oh, See? I need to go, though. You need to go to a high school football Huge game. Huge rivalries here in Oklahoma. That's right. Claremore Katusa. Friday night, 7.30, uh, Thursday night, excuse me, 7.30, John Holcomb and J.B. Haney have the play-by-play. -play. And you're home for championship play, Cox Communications. Here it's 14-5 to five in game two, 5A match that'll send one team to the finals, which you'll see later on at 5 o'clock. Done with a middle attack. And that was a, that was a period ball. And that was Held a, a little too long in her hands. A needed, <laughs> a needed point for Union. Yes, too. Union. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Their passing also didn't wasn't as effective as last game. Well, maybe this would be a start for them. Free ball over. There's a nice pass. There's oh. a good hit. And that was 
a that was a great hit because it was a, it was a set that was a little closer to the attack line, harder for the outside hitter to have attacked just because it was farther from the net. But she did a great job with that. Audrey Havlick on the kill, Kim Eitan on the serve. Give her an ace. There's an ace. Very nice. Nicely done. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> it's going the other way now, oh, isn't it? Change. Four, yes. 14 8. There's a good look at Eitan's statistics. There's a nice serve. Rogi again. See? A little off balance. Yes. Don, middle attack. Yes. Oh, snuck it over. It works. This is unbelievable. Any kind of kill is a kill. 14 9. Yeah, it, it, there's no pictures on the scorebook. It, well, wait a minute. You're on TV, so yeah. someone might be able to rewind it and see it. Boy, tough one there. Just over. Getting a free ball. Too much. And it's out. Good eye. Good for them for following it all the way to the line. You see it drop too many times in high school sometimes. Brittany Swimmer watched it all the way. Now Kim Mike will step back and serve. 14-10. That's, that's out. out. Service there. So the serve will go back to McGinnis, and they'll make a couple substitutions. Victoria George and Megan Dennehy, the defensive specialist, will check in. In fact, they're going to send Dennehy back to serve. Let's see Union's pass on this. 15-10, McGinnis leads Union. Good job. They moved well to the ball. Oh, gone. And the middle. Right on. Very effective for them. Dietrich, done. Brought it up the middle. Impressive. And good McGinnis. Hit. It's and good. It's Did you see what you saw there? You saw smiles. McGinnis mm -hmm. getting back in the game yes, a little bit. Yes, they are. 15-11, <laughs> McGinnis in the lead over Union. Donald serve. That's a good pass. And to the lefty. Schweitzer blocked for the first time. She just got to get it over. And again to the lefty. Oh. <laughs> lots of net play in this game. Yes, there is. And a lift. Oh, lots of lifts in this game, too. Swimmer gets caught with that one. And they they'll move. Clean it up a little bit. And they'll move down around, yeah. And uh, Bishop McGinnis will have Leslie Jones, the senior serve again. Up 16-11. Nice pass. Rogi. There, that's a six hit again. She's been scoring a lot on those. Here in this game, that's already her fourth kill in five attempts. I'd say that's pretty good. That is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good look at Rogi. Paula Rogi, the senior. And Leslie Jones will serve. McGinnis up 17 to 11. Oh, great again set Again in, in middle. the middle. Swimmer. Going for the middle again. Wow. Yes, very nice. It's so effective. They could hit straight down. There would be defenders in the way, though. Those middle hits have been going long, deep in the court. It's very hard to get there defensively. Courtney Whitlow with that, serving as Tess Nordstock, senior. Down ball. Yeah. yeah. Tough play there for Megan Dennehy. Not much the junior could do. Here comes a union rally, 17-13. 17-13, North Dog will serve. And another. <laughs> wow. 17-14, look out. Here comes Union. Or here comes Union. They took the first game there, as you see, 25-20, and now North Dog's putting on a show serving. Good serve. Oh. Bump. Set up the middle attack with McGinnis block. Outside. Back. That was well played. Dig just out. That was well that played. That was very nicely placed. You're right. By Vinette. Good call. <laughs> well played. Well played. See, that, that's the only term I can really use to make me sound cool to you, April. <laughs> she placed that one well. Hey, Broken Arrow's back alive here as Union is rallied back in the game. McGinnis leads it 17 to 15 here in game number two and April Psycho, this has been a game where it's kind of been ebb and flow, hasn't it? One team seems to have all the momentum and then all of a sudden Union, especially on plays like this, have been able to rally back. All right, yes, the very effective and almost a little outside the hole, but the defender couldn't quite get there. Very, very nice 
Very nice hit. Hey, uh, don't forget, April, if you are a football fan, you can always watch <laughs> Cox Communications when it comes to your favorite teams and coaches show. On Monday, watch Sooner Football 2003 at 7 p.m. And at 8, watch OSU football with Coach Les Miles, our producer, Randy Carson. That's her favorite show on TV. Did you know oh, that? Oh, no. She's big Randy. OSU. <laughs> Cox Communications. We've got sports. We've got OU and OSU football covered. Do you have hockey? Uh, I don't. I, we're working on hockey All as right. we speak right now. See, the CHL is a little different from the NHL. That's so true. That is true. We'll make sure we get it for you. Tess Nordstog will serve for Union. That looks and like too out. much. Yeah. That's a test of discipline. If you can get a serve in, like, after every timeout or at game point, that is really effective for your team. Now Union on the attack. I Back row, and it's just wow. up. Ooh. That would have been amazing if it had been in. That was almost by the attack line. So. I, was, I was about to say, and, and the eyes of, of, of the Zebras is unbelievable, man. This is unreal. <laughs> Outside attack, they get him in the net. Yes, they oh, are. They, they caught, I believe, Kelly Roy. And so heading back to serve for Union will be Audrey Havlick, the senior. Nice dig by Rogie, but it's too much. And a little flick to the middle. That's all it takes. Kim Iden. Oh, she's had a pretty good game here, too. That's her second block of this game. Really need a pass here. Now Union will try to set Sweet it up. Ball. I, wow, how, a did, good hit. how did she make something out of that? There's a good hit. Great, great, they're gonna send over a free ball, so of course Union's gonna capitalize on that. Gonna set outside. iden has been killing him all day. And Bad serve. Jump serve, attempt. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. It, it was an attempt at it. it. All right. We're at 20 to 18 in favor of uh, Bishop McGinnis. McGinnis has the serve, and we're due a timeout. We'll take it here before McGinnis actually gets things rolling, we think. And I, I think some of the officials are having words with those at the score table, and they're going to play on. Okay. They'll play on, and serving will be Jennifer Morgan for Bishop McGinnis. There's nice serve. serve, another overpass. Whoa! That's overpass, overpass. That was a great play. I mean, hey, very effective. It, you, you tell me about it. I mean, you, you thought that was one of the best serves I we've seen. I wonder if they practiced that in practice. Uh, I don't know if you can. I think some teams <laughs> must. The unions. Uh, I know we did in practice. Katie Troutman will serve again. It's our excuse, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> Rogi. Good pass. They needed a good pass on that. Oh, great pass. And ah. good cover. Good cover on McGinnis' side. We're going to get Union. And Union is on the net. 21 19. Schweitzer will check back in for Mich Bishop McGinnis, and they'll actually send Haley Steele back to serve, the senior. 21 19. McGinnis has the lead and the serve. It's good serve. Tough pass. Oh, tough pass, but well played. Schweitzer. And it. Wow. Works. What a great hustle play by Haley Steele, but unfortunately, McGinnis couldn't get anything going with it. We'll have a substitution. As for Union checking back in, will be number 10, Brittany Swimmer. And Swimmer will step back to serve. All of a sudden, we have a game here, folks. McGinnis needs a good pass here. Winner of this moves on to the finals, which you will see later on this evening here on Cox Communications. Talking to the ref. Maybe a little bit upset, yeah. Not sure what about. Yeah, it looks like uh, Haley Steele's a little bit upset about something. And now she'll move back. They've been getting the shorthand of some of those rallies. I know it makes you upset because they, they're, they're trying so hard. Whoa. Nice hit. That was nice. Very crisp. Nice hit by Roy. And a free ball. Can't do anything with it, though. Watch out. Going I out. Oh. Again. We're tied. With the kill. We're tied at 21. Listen to this she arena. She jumps. Yes, she jumps very well. Just hit right over the block. A swimmer. Now, can McGinnis make anything out of this? Doesn't look like it. McGinnis, they need to talk a little bit more. Again, momentum switch. 
and a timeout. There's the timeout we thought we were going to get. 22-21. Union on top of McGinnis. They'll have to serve when we get back. Many hassles. I need more me time. What I'm trying to say is, I found an easier way to pay my Cox bill online at Cox.com. Great. Next. That's it, girl. Just move on. There's an easier way to pay with Cox. Go to Cox.com to make an online payment or sign up for automatic monthly payments with Easy Pay. No checks, no stamps, no hassles at Cox.com. 30 years ago, Camera Gallery opened its doors focusing on service and selection. And look. Not the 30. This could be it for Union right here. They could be going on to the finals. Free ball. Oh, nice pass. Done. Into the net, though. And four hits, yes. They're still in this game. Very much so. 24 22. Remember, a team has to win two out of three games. We played at 25, but we have to win by two, and we're capped by 30. Good serve in that pressure situation. Titan. And nice. off the hands. That's and it. That's it. They're going to the finals. Union is going to the state finals later on this evening. They will face either, well, maybe McGinnis again, or Edmund Santa Fe, or possibly Bishop Kelly. Wow, talk about taking care of business in a game in which you seemed all but out of it. Union takes the second game and moves on to the state finals with a 25-22 win over Bishop McGinnis. We'll wrap up game, actually match number one, game number two after this timeout on Championship Saturday. It's the fourth game of the week on Cox Communications. One Union takes out McGinnis uh, two games to none in this match and very impressive performance from Union. You know, the stats aren't going to bear it out, April Psycho, but what will is their ability to actually make plays, and you'll see some of it here in the game summary. Not the most impressive percentages, but still, they made plays when they had to. Yes, they did. Definitely a game of mo momentum, as is all high school, <laughs> it seems. But definitely this one, it seemed like, you know, Union started with it. Uh, McGinnis would end game one with it. McGinnis would get into game two with it, and then Union would take over. So it was definitely fluctuating that way. Yeah, and uh, as we mentioned, as we take a look at the game summary, uh, Oklahoma, or excuse me, Union as didn't really necessarily do anything special in this game. No. They just were able to take advantage of options. McGinnis seemed to have taken their um, their missed rallies and stuff quite hard. They just kind of shut down communication-wise. They didn't really do anything to, to pick up the momentum again with their faces or communicating on the court. And so then Union just took off with that, and they just started serving rockets, and McGinnis couldn't return the serve. So that was that was huge at the end of the game. The um, passes weren't as crisp as they started out to be. So Union definitely needed or deserve to win this game just yeah. because they did. They did everything. Uh, There's a look at some of the some of the stats and we mentioned it wasn't necessarily uh, a percentage that was impressive. It's just they passed the ball a little bit better yeah. and they had more attempts. I mean that's that's an unbelievable discrepancy in attempts. Yep and they just kept swinging. They kept swinging. There were a lot of free balls that were sent over from McGinnis side but for them, they were scrappy. They did not let the ball fall. They played with a lot of heart. And for McGinnis, it's not over either because in this format, they have another opportunity to pull it off and maybe end up winning. McGinnis will be shifted down to the bottom part of the bracket where they will await the winner of Edmund Santa Fe and Bishop Kelly. And that'll be the next game that we'll bring you here on Cox Communications coming up at 340. Union has knocked off McGinnis. Union will move on to the state volleyball finals tonight at 5 o'clock. We'll find out who they meet later on this afternoon at 340. For April Psycho, good job, April, Thanks. making the debut from ORU. She'll be back with us in a bit for our stats guys and gals and for all the crew including producer Andy Carson, director Mike Davis, and all the camera guys and gals. We'll say adios. We'll be back at 3.40 for the semifinal game between McGinnis and either Edmund Santa Fe or Bishop Kelly here on the fourth game of the week on Cox Communications. Adios. Uh -huh. The preceding program was produced through the facilities of the production service.
at the brackets and how these two teams got here from the consolation bracket. Now, keep in mind, Bishop Kelly was considered one of the favorites. They were knocked out by Putnam City in the very first round yesterday, but they've battled their way back all the way to have the opportunity to face Union in the finals. And April, you're experienced. You played at ORU. You had success. You guys went to the NCAA tournament. How difficult is it? Which position would you rather be in? Bishop Kelly coming off the exciting high emotion game match they just had, or would you rather have a few matches off and a little bit of a break like McGinnis has had? Personally, I'd rather have a bit of a break, but Bishop Kelly, they've got like an arsenal behind them with their <laughs> fan support. It's incredible. So I don't know. It's a tough one to say, you know, because they just keep rolling no matter what comes. They just seem to have enough energy for anything, so yeah. we'll see. They're a very exciting team to watch, too, and the crowd really gets into it. Jerry Wadsworth has done an amazing job to get Bishop Kelly back to this point. We saw McGinnis earlier. They had a tough loss to Union. We'll see if they can bounce back. April will have all the analysis. We'll call the action for you as we get set for the final slot to be set for the state championship game coming up later on this evening. McGinnis and Kelly start is next on Cox Communications.